firm, but we don't deliver typical results. If you've been hurt in an accident, you deserve the best. The best care, the best compensation, and sweet justice. That's Sweet James. It's one fantastic ride. The turbocharged, tech-inspired Kia Forte. Lease the new 2024 Forte LXS for $189 a month. Now at five, dozens of cars have been stolen out of Long Beach this year, but one owner turned the tables on a thief. It's a story you will see for the first time and only on Ford. Plus, a break-in at Mayor Bass's house. She's okay. Our I-team has new details about the criminal history of the man who forced his way inside her home. But first, we begin with this breaking news. A deputy injured in a shooting in West Covina. The news at 5 starts right now. NBC4 News at 5 starts with breaking news. That deputy was rushed to the hospital. Meantime, part of the 10 freeway was closed as part of this investigation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Annabelle Sedano. A car connected to the shooting has been found. This happened around 3 this afternoon near Barranca Street in West Covina. This is a view from News Chopper 4. The deputy was rushed to the hospital in Pomona. The injuries are not considered life-threatening. Sheriff Luna will have an update at 6 o'clock. NBC4's Darsha Phillips is on her way to West Covina and will have a live update later this hour. Meantime, L.A. Mayor Karen Bass says she is grateful for the LAPD officers. They caught a man who broke into the mayor's residence over the weekend. The I-team has some new information about the man now in custody. And our investigative reporter, Eric Leonard, joins us live with the latest on this case. Eric. Hi, Colleen. Well, court records from Massachusetts show this man who served time in prison for a violent attack nearly 10 years ago but yesterday managed to get inside Getty House in Hancock Park, or we should say Windsor Square, while the mayor was home. This morning, the mayor expressed her thanks to the officers who made the arrest. I just want to thank the Los Angeles Police Department again for responding to the incident at the Getty House yesterday. Investigations are ongoing, so I won't have any further comment at this moment. But again, I want to thank the Los Angeles Police Department for their work. The LAPD was called to the Getty House around 6.45 Sunday morning after someone inside, possibly the mayor, personally activated a burglar alarm. LAPD officers were on scene within a few minutes and by 7 a.m. reported they'd arrested someone inside and were searching the first and second floors of the home. Now you see here the man in custody, 29-year-old Ephraim M. Hunter, shown in a photo from a 2015 arrest. Prosecutors in Norfolk County in Massachusetts confirm it's the same person convicted in a serious assault assault and robbery case who later spent seven years in prison. Now, law enforcement sources say it's not clear if the mayor was personally targeted, but one senior official told us it seems odd that someone from out of town would end up being inside the mayor's residence totally by accident. Now, this incident should raise some significant questions about security for the mayor. The LAPD says officers had to respond to the Getty House after receiving that alarm, meaning it would appear there was not an officer on duty on the property. The man arrested, Ephraim Hunter, he's being held in lieu of $100,000 bail. He's expected to face a burglary charge tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you. All right, Eric, thank you very much for that update. Meantime, a woman was attacked and killed while riding a metro train in Studio City this morning. Investigators say it appears to have been a random attack. NBC4's Tracy Leong has more on how riders are feeling today. Tracy. At this time, police say it appears to be a completely unprovoked attack, which is concerning for those who rely on the metro for transportation and tell me they already felt unsafe before the woman was murdered. A woman is dead after she was brutally attacked while riding the metro train B line in Studio City Monday around 5 in the morning. There is a lot of blood at the scene. Um, this was a horrendous attack and it's it's quite frankly very tragic. Detectives say the woman was traveling from North Hollywood when a man stabbed her. Both got off on the Universal City Station platform. The woman was taken to the hospital where she died and the man who police believed attacked her was caught a few blocks away on Ventura and Vineland 30 minutes later. All signs lead detectives to believe that this is the individual that committed this heinous crime. 
LAPD shut down the Universal City Station for several hours during their investigation. We caught up with passengers who were being redirected to alternate routes and told us they rarely feel safe on the metro. Every day that I ride, there's always some sort of crime or just something going on, some chaos.